Good morning, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Ladybug Farm. We are heading back outside this morning. It was intense and we have some cleanup to do. We had lightning, thunder, flash flooding, and a tornado warning going on. And I was right in the middle of morning chores, milking the goats, and we need to go back out there and pick some things up and finish caring for the animals. You can see right behind me here, this is part of our driveway and this is what happens every time we get a heavy rain. We just get a nice river coming right down the center of the most inconvenient places. And once it dries out, this will be something we'll just have to clean up. Behind me is an area we just planted two days ago with sunflowers, clover, buckwheat, and wildflowers. And it looks like a lot of it will, all the seed at least, will have run off. So that's really disappointing. But we planted quite a big area that we just cleared in hopes of having a nice meadow out here in front of the bee yard. But it doesn't mean we can't come back and plant again. We'll wait until we see what seeds have germinated and then we'll come back out with our earthway seeder and see if we can't fix up some of the patches. The scariest part about any storm for us is actually when we lose power because we have these heat lamps hooked up throughout various places to keep baby goats or to keep our chicks warm and we also have the incubators running and those cannot lose power. I came out here this morning and our youngest chicks outside, the ones that are outside, they were doing just fine. But a river went through, hold it nice and close, hold it nice and close. A river went through and got some of our chicks wet and you can see right behind me, we have some chicks that got soaked. They are still alive. What's that stuff? We need to go take care of them because if we warm them up, we can save them. But they, we have a few chicks that look like they might pass. So this is the hard part about farming. You are constantly seeing the life cycle of life and death happen on the farm. We did lose a few chicks. One of them being a pet silky that the children were going to have. And I just checked on them all right before this flash flood flooding. They were all doing fine. But some of them just got a little too wet and even the heat couldn't help them. We tried to hold them. Sometimes we can revive them when we hold them. But these ones just got a little bit too wet. But here are some more. And you can see that we still do have a lot of happy, healthy chicks. Our older chicks here, they're just over a month old. They did wonderful. They hunkered down inside of their chicken tractor. We've had them on this bed for almost a week. But because they are fully feathered in, they don't need a heat lamp. And they stayed dry here. They're up in a raised garden bed, so that helped with the runoff too. We did have a little river bed going down on each side of the garden bed, but luckily not through the garden bed. Pigs are loving the mud. <laughs> and they're wanting more food. <laughs> Duck stayed happy as always in the rain. They did actually hunker down for a little bit, tuck their heads and try to find some safety because it did get pretty hard and nasty for a little bit. But after the rain, they absolutely love to come down and dig their bills deep down in and see what treasures they can find buried deep down. We have a couple hundred strawberry plants in the ground and the plants look wonderful but the thing that's a bummer about heavy rainfalls like this we'll have to see when we come out and pick tonight but it's gonna basically rot in the ground a lot of these strawberries 
or it's gonna change their flavor and they're not gonna be as sweet. They're going to be a lot more waterlogged tasting. So that's a real bummer because we've been just at the very first couple weeks of getting our strawberries harvested for the year. But time will tell with this one. And wrap my legs to really tight so they can not escape when I was trying to Wonderful work. Do you need some help here? Yeah, and when I went underneath to get hole, I saw she laid an egg. Really? Yep. Wow. So Leela has been out here. We brought some towels out and she is washing or drying off her pet chicken snow. She is a big fur ball. So this morning, she just looked absolutely ridiculous. The worst her hair day uh, yeah. you, you could ever imagine because she was just soaked. And it sounded like, did you go over and dry off some of the babies too? Yeah. Wonderful. And they dried her off and they put on the top. So our concern with having a wet living condition for the goats is that it makes them more susceptible to parasites and especially these babies to getting coccidia, um, which can be another life or death situation, especially for the babies. So Leela got them dry. And even the though I was out here this wet. morning with a pitchfork and the thunder and lightning, and downpour and we had a hoe trying to divert the water away because it was up above our ankles we are now just going to go in use a pitchfork get all of that straw out and lay down some fresh dry bedding for them Our littlest one is having a grand old time with <laughs> buckets and puddles and rainfall. It's the littlest things that are the big things. Our chickens are doing just great. They stay dry inside and they are already coming in to lay their eggs for the day. So I was in the middle of milking our other goat, Red, when it started getting really nasty. I did not want to bring Oreo out in the middle of the rain. And I went and got her babies and I thought it was more important to get her babies in the safety under her. So I brought them underneath my rain jacket, brought them to her and we are gonna try just to get the rest of the milk out of her. It's not really the best practice because goats love routine. They enjoy routine and we've never milked her this late in the day, but we wanna make sure that that milk is out of her so it doesn't cause any future issues. <laughs> not much milk, which was a good thing. That meant that the babies enjoy their morning breakfast. So we gave a little bit of a treat to the kitties. Earl Grey is happily enjoying the milk. She meets me every single morning and tries to sneak some milk. Now it's goat cuddling time. Mommy is holding pumpkin and I am holding spider, the Oreo's baby. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you all have a beautiful day. Enjoy the rain and go out and make some sunshine.